can be better managed. Now back to Western Kenya or Shitera's home area. And Cabras made it three out of three, crushing KCB in the Kenya Cup final to lift the gong for another edition. Let's take a look at how that action went down at the showground in Kakamega. It's going to be a very, very interesting one because uh, both sides are very hungry for this particular game. And I think uh, for us as Cabras, it, it just continues the, um, the plan that we've had because at the beginning of the season, uh, this game... And of course, Cabras RFC actually beating KCB in the final that went down at the Kakamega showground. Chitera, that's your home team and you've been supporting it. Probably you predicted this victory. Uh, we warned them uh, when they were here. <laughs> <laughs> By the new you warned warned them. Them. You warned them. <laughs> we told them to prepare. It's unfortunate that uh, it was played at Kakamega. Uh -huh. I think uh, they should have taken it to a more neutral uh, ground. But it happens that if, if, if you win the, the regular season, yeah, yeah, yeah. then you host it. You host it. Yeah. you host it, yes, but yes. what I'm saying, my point is valid. Yes. I think uh, probably Kisumu. Probably Kisumu, and then uh, the win would have really uh, went down well, and KCB will not have mm -hmm. any complaint because now the only other complaint, uh, what I'm saying is, they will say that they were at home. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> now that shows that shows you uh, the importance of investment. Mm -hmm. Cabras have inve been investing over years. Uh, they have invested in uh, international uh, experience and skills. Mm -hmm. uh, look at their team, look at their coach, uh, look at how uh, they live together. Uh, unlike uh, KCB, who I would say, they work during the day, uh, probably uh, <laughs> along Jogo Road or uh, oh, Ngong Road. Like, be kind. And then, <laughs> don't, don't go that then, direction. Then, <laughs> they, <laughs> then, they, and then they meet for training. Uh, uh, These people yes. train together, they live together, they know each other. And it will take time. In case the management will be happy with it. So <laughs> it, will, it will take time. It will take time to get it away from Cabras because it's something that they have invested. But. One uh, thing that uh, I'm not happy, mm. look at that playing surface. Yeah, that's basically Kakamega Shogra, and that's the state of facilities. And that's what we are saying even in Kenya right now. We don't have any rugby stadium in the country. There's no single one. I think and actually, we've been a core team in the HSBC for so, I so think, long. I but uh, mm. just to hold on, Zita. You see, I want you to address the question. <laughs> KCB at one point were dominating. They were winning as they wish. Then Cabras come here, challenge that dominance. And for three years running, it's Cabras winning the title. After this match, actually, KCB coach Kati Zolago, we had him here, he said, now, our focus shift to the Enterprise Cup. But I don't still think they're going to win that with Cabras in the picture. You mentioned the, the Enterprise, and I remember, again, uh, the, the, the good tours are coming. But mm -hmm. let me say this, that um, I was, when I was watching the, the, the final, I was asking why don't we have a regional competition of clubs? And this is a challenge I'm throwing to uh, Buana Sasha Mutai, and that maybe you can talk to you, the other federation bosses within East Africa, so that at least we see what Cabras would do if they meet the league leaders of Uganda, uh, maybe Tanzania, Congo, blah, blah. So a Sekafa and Rugby? Yeah, something like that. Because really, it, it becomes tasteless when every time you can expect the team that is going to win. And remember, we said just before the final the other day that Carlos Katwa, the coach, said mm. he was so unhappy with the score they had against uh, in the semis. You remember? Mm. He was against the uh, Oilers. Mm. Mm. And he was like, we wanted more. Mm. Now, you, you meet KCB, the second strongest team in the, in the league, and you are whipping them 29-5. Yeah. Yeah. means that there's a very big gap. Yep. But, but the idea of uh, investment, Swila, mm. I heard the coach saying that, uh, you know, something major happened and people have not talked about it. The, the ESS... A trophy, which is actually for the development teams. Mm -hmm. The final was not played. It was supposed to be between Cabras and KCB. Mm -hmm. Cabras did not honor that. And KCB were ready for it. So, again, I'm trying to ask a question. 
are cabras resting on their laurels and they are forgetting that it is this development team that is supposed to anchor their future in. Because KCB are saying mm -hmm. we are transitioning. That is what Curtis Olago is saying. We are transitioning and uh, give us just a few years. Mm -hmm. When this young team and the experienced players come to jail, we are going to do something different. Real quick, and I want you also to address it with the issue of uh, rugby in Ukunda. South Coast Pirates, actually. N not much of mentioning, but to give them their credit, this team beat everybody in Pearl, actually, in the final. Mm -hmm. And next time, they're going to compete in the Kenya Cup. Mm -hmm. So probably could see a rugby action in Okunda or whichever venue they're going to choose, even if it's Mombasa Sports Club or whichever. This is beautiful because at the end of it, we want to actually have that games. footage if we can have a look at it, even as Zita makes sense. We have like all the games going to Mashinani. Mm -hmm. You know, if you talk about South Coast, of course, people will, from Cabras, they have to go back up to South Coast. Talking about if, if it goes to, again, even in Nandi, we need to have a, a rugby team there. <laughs> so, so that people from here can even go to Nandi and see. You know, that is how we see the game growing. You know, other people coming from other country, in counties and do it and playing this playing this game. Uh, just to talk about a little bit about um, Cabras and um, KCB. You know, Cabras have a very good uh, uh, team to go outside and poach for what talent. Mm -hmm. Good, knowing that the school games that are going on, rugby school games in high school, it's still going on. This is the time that KCB needs to go and see these school games uh, that are happening. In uh, uh, is it uh, Kakamega, Kakamega have very good. Uh, Kakamega always it's a, like a feeder to Cabras, mm. to Cabras, um, to Cabras uh, FC and any rugby team. So and for Viga. Me, yes, and Viga. Uh, so for me, the even KCB need, now needs to go out and see what is needed, what is happening in the school games and come up with fresh fresh bl blood because uh, I, um, I went and do, did a, 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 a story for them when they, they were here so you can see other people are really uh, getting the age really getting uh, with them and uh, they need to give us space for others for the what for the fresh blood you see Swila, mm -hmm. do you remember the the phenomenon of uh, man city and how things changed in england when money was poured Teams that had no name, teams like Chelsea and Man City, started now talking about. Uh, what are you saying? You know, <laughs> no, it's true. Just the other day, you know, somebody, maybe age, 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 age may disadvantage. What are you saying? But I will, let, me, I will, let, me, I will. let me put this. Let me finish my point. Yes. That is what is happening with our rugby. Mm -hmm. The more the money you have, the more dominance. The more dominance. It's good to players and quality players. So you ask the question but of South, South, has, South Coast. No, has, not like any, any, let let, uh, let me make my point. Uh, because of Zita. time, let me okay. You see, KCB the idea of money. South Coast. Mm. South Coast. Uh, you, know, you may say that, but you, you need to ask the question, the amount of money pumped yeah. into the, mm -hmm. to the, by the team. Let them tell us. Yeah. So you see, <laughs> South Coast Pirates, the more the money, the more structure the year, in terms of like even attracting sponsorship, mm -hmm. that one will speak to whether they're going to come survive in the league or not. And you see, what uh, Cabras and even KCB, we need to give their KCB their flowers. Being in the final of the time, they are, they are, it's true they are doing it's something. Credit to them. You see, if every other team that has a good player, and you a KCB, a Mananda Cabras, it means we are going to continue seeing the same thing. Dumb. That's why I've been saying, we need to have a structure in a way that at least in the league, there is our reward that comes with the sponsorship for all the teams at least to keep their best. Absolutely. Dennis, in the interest of time, I want you to talk about the, the wrangles within the, the federation, uh, that's rugby union. Actually, uh, last week they had an AGM and things didn't really go very well down there. And this probably could hurt the growth of the game in the foreseeable future. I think uh, our federations uh, is like personal properties for so many uh, head of federations from football, volleyball, rugby, <laughs> basketball. But rugby is different, Dennis. I think we've seen election held periodically and we're seeing change of guard and probably at every uh, tenure. We had Odur Gangala, of course, it served his term. We've now seen Sasha Mutai. Mm -hmm. But even with Sasha there, we are seeing squabbles in the boardroom. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. Whenever someone is at the helm of the federation, uh, now most of them feel like this is now my proper take and I the way I want. Uh, there's no openness among the leaders. Uh, so, uh, especially when there's money involved, now <laughs> that's where the problems start coming in. Uh, something that even the ministry, uh, through the, the Waziri, Buenasiesa, Babu Namamba, should now intervene in our federation. That come FIFA or to ban. <laughs> but uh, we have a lot that we need to work on in our federation, that uh, people should not take federations as personal properties. Mm -hmm. uh, Sabwa, please. Uh, Suila, you see, fairness is very important. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's support... Sasha Mutai yes. is doing a good job he's so far. Good. Yeah, I agree. Since he came on board, he's doing a good job. For whatever reason that made him walk away from the AGM, mm. people need to, to, to support him because, you see, the problem that uh, 
sometimes we may be blaming leaders and all that, eh? but it's a culture of, of Kenyans mm -hmm. that everybody comes, uh, comes uh, into an office, mm -hmm. people want to bring him down even before he does anything. Yes, yes. And actually, so th th that's wrong. Change. And actually, you see, it's some of these federations have had uh, forces within the Nini for mm -hmm. so long. Yeah. So and probably at, so, at, at, yes. at one point, probably Sia comes on board. Yeah. You wonder, you want to inject something new. Absolutely. But you find the forces pushing back. Mm -hmm. This yeah, is very, so, so, very common. Sometimes within. we have uh, hey, only to deep state confederations. So Absolutely. You are the president, but you don't have powers. And, 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 and that's, Swila, really, that's a, the, the elephant in the room. Most of the federations, People come, they are not given even a chance to do anything because mm -hmm. there are people who are just fighting back. Absolutely. And it becomes a, a personal interest, not the whole, the, the, the big picture of the game. Mm. Like, what do you want with our rugby? We are talking about a time that Shuja is fighting hard to go back to, to the just, top series. Yes. Mm. We, we, have the, really we have the Munich really actually a challenger coming up. Mm. This is a time we should be having all the harmony in our team. Absolutely. And to Sasha Mutai, of course, we'll make time and bring you to the show to hear your thoughts on the state of rugby and how we take the game forward. For now, we take a brief commercial break, but when we come in the second hour, and of course, we'll be going to Bonn, Germany, where Joshua Charo is on standby. We'll also be looking at the devils who are blowing hot and cold, and of course, the elephants still atop the tree. Which way will it go? <laughs> Don't go away.